Good evening, and the video you're about to see is taken from the dash cam of an Indiana State Police Trooper's car. What you will not see is that high-ranking Chicago Police Commander because of the way that the cars are positioned during the stop, but you do hear him. This Indiana State Police Trooper is racing to pull over Chicago Police Commander Edward Wadnicki, allegedly traveling with his blue emergency lights on at speeds of 114 miles per hour last month leading troopers on a chase, refusing to stop, finally pulling over near Chesterton, Indiana. Put your hands back the field! Put it down! Be out of the car! This is a not an emergency vehicle! Oh, please, come on, guys. I'm a policeman. I swear to God, I thought you were going to be the police. Yeah, a policeman, where? Where? It's in Chicago! It's in Chicago! I'm heading to a call. Wadnicki apparently thought the troopers giving chase were there to escort him back to the city. The veteran officer says he was rushing back to Chicago to interview suspects already in custody. In custody, they're not in any danger. They don't have to talk until you get there. Well, your boss has just told us that you didn't have anything exigent to get to. So there's no reason you should have been driving that way. So what was the Chicago Police Department's head of detectives doing in Indiana anyway? about 40 miles from Chicago. I've been working all day, I'm a I, in fact, I don't drink at all. I just had a meeting. But what Nikki initially told a different story to CPD command staff, saying he was buying ammunition across the border. Hey, you are in custody. Anything you say, as you know, can be used against you, all right? Uh, and, I, and I've been recording this whole time. Right as troopers let Wadnicki go, the veteran commander did show remorse. And you guys did the right thing, uh, and please accept my apology. And while Nikki was allowed to drive away with a speeding ticket, we have reached out to the Porter County Prosecutor's Office to ask why the more serious felony charges that while Nikki was initially charged with, why those were somehow dropped. We have yet to hear back. Now, while Nikki, as this investigation carries on, he has been reassigned to a more administrative role within the department. We are live tonight in the control room. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News. Brad. More to come. Charles, thank you.